Welcome back to Solutions for Financial Independence. Joining us now, John Halterman with Beacon Wealth Management. How are you doing, John? Hey, Nikki. I'm doing well. How about you? Doing really well, thank you. This week, we have a question from Dave in Clarksburg. He says, should a person invest the same way they did when they take out money for retirement as they did when they were saving that money for retirement? Wow, Dave. That, that's a real good question because obviously that affects so many people. You know, what you do leading up to retirement and then, of course, most of the time people save money because they are taken out. I kind of look at the retirement journey very similar to the way I look at a person who's trying to climb a mountain. You know, on the way up, you're trying to reach the peak, and ultimately that peak is retirement. But once you reach it, what you have to realize is you're not going to just sit there and do nothing. Now you've got to come off that mountain. Well, that's what retirement income is, is you've got to take everything you've saved and now utilize that money for an income that's going to be there for whatever needs you have. So clearly it's a little different. So what should you be considering when you're trying to make this decision? Well, okay, Let, let's take for example. When you're accumulating money, you have time on your side. So a young person such as yourself, mm -hmm. you can make mistakes. Right. Because if you make a mistake, well, you have time to correct that mistake and keep going. Also, because of time on your side, you have an opportunity to be riskier. Right. Because potentially with risk, comes potential reward that somebody who's younger has the opportunity to do. But let's, let's now get into retirement. Here's where the ball game changes. Now you're in retirement, you're taking income out. If you get too risky, especially in the beginning, and all of a sudden the market goes down and you're taking money out, well quickly your money can deteriorate. And quickly you can erode your principal to where all of a sudden you don't have any. Okay. And if you don't have any money, you don't have any income. So what you have to be looking at is number one, maybe I should look at being more conservative because I can't really handle the financial losses. Number two, you've got to look at your cash flow and you've got to look at your liquidity needs. Because the more income you potentially need, the greater the chance of potentially running out of money down the road. So what we know is if you need 5% income, and you're only earning two or three, mm -hmm. well, automatically you're going to run out sooner or later. Right. You know, that's not a good formula. So you've got to think, how, if I need, you know, three, four percent income, how do I make more than three, four percent? And then the other thing I think you really need to consider is should I protect some of this money? And what I mean about that is clearly the number one thing all my people who come to me for retirement income say is, John, I can't afford to outlive my income. So what you have to consider is, well, how can I put myself in a position to where I can have the income I need, potentially still have a little bit of growth, but at the same time, protect myself so that I don't outlive that income. So if you take those things into consideration, I think you'll be okay, but those are clearly three big things. So there's a lot there, but just make sure you're careful. Absolutely. Big time careful, because I don't know if people know this, climbing the mountain is actually easier than coming down. There's actually more deaths coming down the mountain than there is actually ascending to the top. All right. Thank you so much, John. Folks, if you missed any of that, you can always find it online. Don't go anywhere. Much more for you after the break.